Today we're going to open Pandora's box and bring upon the end times with a gang war to end them all. Today is round 50 with only the Olympia shotgun in Black Ops 2 Zombies and the next video on the channel will be round 50 with only the M14 to finally answer the question of who is the GOAT. Leave your affiliation in the comments along with other stupid challenges for me to try and they might just end up featured in a video. Let's try and reach a thousand likes and let's freaking do this thing gamers. Thank you to today's video sponsor Opera G. GX. This is actually a great sponsor for my channel because I've been using Opera GX for over two years now. I first started using Opera GX back when I was making videos and live streaming from an old computer that I had that really struggled when it was doing too many things at once. Opera GX was a lifesaver though because of its built-in features such as the internet network, RAM, and CPU limiters which ensures that your browser will never be a resource hog like some other browsers out in the market. You can also customize Opera GX to fit your style. There's custom backgrounds, tons of different themes, ad blockers, you can choose what elements appear on your homepage, and a ton more for you guys to check out. For the gamers out there, they have GX Corner which acts as an all-in-one destination for anyone looking for upcoming releases, new games, gaming news, or just some good deals. But this isn't all just for PC though, they also have a mobile browser named GX Mobile which can be synced to your desktop version at any time. So if all of this seems great to you then head down into the description and download Opera GX or GX Mobile for absolutely free. It will be the first link in the description and thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. So we're back on the most underappreciated zombies map ever made and as usual let's talk about some damage numbers. When it's Pack-a-Punch, the Olympia can deal a maximum of 2,400 damage without double tap, which is good for a one-shot kill until round 19. Keep in mind that this is if all of the pellets hit and you're standing close enough to lick the zombie's toes. Even with double tap, it only goes up to round 27 as a one-shot, but things quickly go downhill from there. By the time you reach round 50, it would take 10 perfect shots to kill a single zombie, which is absolutely a fucking yikes, and I mean, this is gonna be a a really really long game. So since we've got a lot of gaming ahead of us, let's get through the early game as quickly as possible. By round 4 we had already bought double tap because double the tap, double the damage, double the homies, and double the dick. Round 7 was our juggernaug purchase and sadly there's no black friday deal on that so my poor ass still needs to hang back and use the unupgraded olympia. Granted it was still one shotting at this point but upgrading it would kill more zombies per shot and save me quite a lot of time especially early on in the game. Round 9 we bought Stamina Up and Quick Revive to round out our perk setup. So I should probably explain by the way why I'm not using Speed Cola on a challenge where I'm reloading a shotgun a lot of goddamn times. The reason that I don't is because opening the bank door screws up a lot of spawn areas on town and makes training up zombies really difficult actually. While I do lose time because of the reloads, I make up for it by playing somewhat comfortably and not having to worry about those extra spawn areas constantly. So yeah, if you ever see someone leaving the bank closed in town gameplay from here on out then that's why. Now you can't ever say I don't teach you guys anything in these videos, daddy always brings that Ty Lopez level knowledge. On round 16 I did the oopsie and needed to use my life orb because I've fallen and I couldn't get up without the help of some magical blue liquid I bought from a vending machine for several hundred dollars during a zombie apocalypse. About 10 10 rounds later, I made the same stupid mistake but on the exact opposite side of my training area which is just all kinds of stupidly painful. But you know what's more painful than that? Doing the exact same fucking thing 10 rounds later. God I hate it here so much why I do this shit. Oh yeah because you guys enjoy watching my suffering so that totally makes it worth it. Let's not even mention the GG by the way on round 40 during an insta kill because if I need to remember that any longer than I have to just going through the sentence then I may want to take back what I said. That game only took 2 hours though so let's just do another one and we'll do better in that one. Because we already have done the low rounds and they're kind of boring after the first attempt anyway, we just decided for our next attempt we will start on round 20 and we immediately upgraded our Olympia, grabbed all the perks besides Quirk Revive for some reason, and continued grinding away some rounds. We were actually doing better this game though because see I'm on round 41 already and I haven't even taken a single down because I'm so good at this video game. If pain in French is bread, then I own a fucking bakery. My eyes are literally twitching, by the way, while watching back this footage. I'm actually just so mad about it. But if you think that's as painful as it gets, then you clearly have never watched a video of mine. After getting slapped with enough speed to cook a raw chicken, on round 44, I was kind of confused, but I continued on anyway. Let's, let's not talk about that. But this is where it gets extraordinarily painful. My cat decided to jump up on my desk and fucking ruined my game. 
it might be called Euro Trip or something like that. I think it's called. It's this movie from like 10 years ago or whatever. But like, it's basically all these rich people that pay to have like tourists that get kidnapped and like the tourists that get kidnapped and shit. Misty! Misty, get off of my goddamn desk! Eat you! Bye-bye! I'm pretty confident in saying that I'm the only person whose cat has ever killed them during a zombies challenge. Genuinely, she's the cutest little thing ever, her name is Misty, but holy crap, she can be the most annoying thing on the planet. When she wants attention, she will get it by any means possible and will make sure that you can do nothing other than pay attention to her whenever she needs it. But after getting rid of the kitty, we were out of quicker vibes and we went on as best as we could until round 48 where I got pinned between some zombies and a truck for my final down of the game. But at this point, I think we are now members of the M14 gang because the level of pain I experienced during this game is basically giving me Vietnam flashbacks. That second game without the first 20 rounds took three and a half hours, and this challenge in total was close to about six hours. Safe to say that I'm probably never using the Olympia ever again. My final thoughts are, if you're going to play maps, then don't be a beta male and just knife for the first few rounds like a real gamer. Who needs the M14 or the Olympia? Now I'm going to go pet my cat and try to get over all of this PTSD. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like it if you did enjoy, and thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Make sure to click the top link in the description if it interests you, and check out the other videos popping up on the screen. Love you. Bye-bye.